Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dane. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness from one of my favorite cities in the world, Stockholm, Sweden. I'm here before it snows and then I'm getting out. Uh, just did a phenomenal energetic synthesis of being class where I saw people change more in three and a half days than I've ever seen occur before. People walked in one way and they walked out with a sense of peace, a sense of ease, and a sense of joy in their lives and their bodies that I've always wanted to be able to facilitate. So I'm coming to you extremely grateful right now for this amazing weekend and the amazing people in it. So what's the tool for today? Well, I got a couple for you. One is, have you ever had one of those times in your life where it felt like everything was falling apart? Where you felt like you didn't know what to do and you didn't know where to go and it's like you kind of wanted to cry and you, what if those times when you were falling apart was actually you falling together? See, if you've ever done any sort of work where you wanted to change something or tried, you know, if you've ever done access as an example or any of the other modalities or, or ways of trying to change things that are out there in the world, it's like you'll eventually, if you're truly creating change, you'll eventually get to a point where in order to create that change, what was has to change into something different. And it's right at that period where you go from what used to be and it starts sort of crumbling. It's no longer solid in the same way that it used to be. Before it gets to the new thing that can be, a lot of times you feel like, oh my gosh, everything is falling apart. Well, in a sense, literally it is because the structure that used to be your life that's creating the limitation that you want to change is going away. That is a beautiful thing on the one hand, but it can be really uncomfortable. So here's what you want to ask. You want to ask, is this falling apart? or is it actually falling together in a totally different way? And just asking that question sometimes, you may need to ask it three or four or five times, but just asking that question sometimes can make it so much easier to weather the storm. And that way, instead of thinking you're doing something wrong, instead of judging you that, oh, I must be doing something wrong and bad, you realize, oh my gosh, this is actually the change I'm looking for happening. Maybe the universe really does have my back. And a lot of times it'll give you the courage to continue moving forward. Okay, and here's two other things for you. Two other tools. Okay, well, let's do this first, since you already know the clearing statement. So everything you've done to judge you, every time you fell apart in the past is, oh, you must be doing something wrong. Will you destroy and uncreate it, please? Right and wrong, and return it to sender. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Thank you. And you can do that on your own, by the way. You don't have to have me to do that for you. You can just say all the same words and it'll work. And then the next thing is when you get to that place where you're like, ah, everything's falling apart. When you ask that question, is this falling apart or falling together? For all of the stuff that comes up, all of that yucky emotional stuff and all that, just be present with it for a minute and just be there with it with no judgment. Don't try to run away. Don't try to escape it. Don't try to get away from it. Just be there with it and be there and be there and see if that alone doesn't begin to change it. And then to the voices that tell you that you're bad and you're wrong and this is the same old thing and you've always done it wrong and you'll always do it wrong, you know, it's time to get rid of those voices. It's time to send those things packing. It's time to send them out of our world to wherever the heck they came from and here's how you do it. It sounds like old English, but it works really well. You may have to do it between three and 20 times. You just say, return to from whence you came, never to return to me or this reality. Return to from whence you came, never to return to me or this reality. Return to from whence you came, never to return to me or this reality. Return to from whence you came, never to return to me or this reality. And repeat it until the voices that are telling you you're wrong go away, because they're just the voices of the crap of this reality. You don't need it anymore. It's time for something different. It's time for something greater. It's time for something called you as you truly are to show up. So thanks so much for being with me on this installment of the Tour of Consciousness. Please know what a gift you are to the world. And what if you truly being you are the gift and the change this world requires. Until next time, my beautiful friends. Bye.